Hi, this is Kai from New Electronic Frontier, and today I'm gonna unbox and try out the TUL Dual Attenuator Attenuverter Offset Generator by Rides in the Storm. So you see, uh, quite unusual packaging. <laughs> Which feels nice, by the way. And one nice detail, the uh, paper wrapper also resembles as the manual. <laughs> so we have all descriptions here, um, how you can uh, configure it and what you can do with it. Um, <laughs> quite nice done, nice clean graphics. So let's take a look at the module. So as expected, power cable, so like the plastic washes, I had this with different modules, so it's pretty nice. And here we go. Okay. So it feels really nice, nice and you know solid. It's again a very very thick metal plate. It's it's really heavy for the size of the module, but it's cleanly soldered, straightforward design. I really like it. Looks good, sliders feel well. So let's put this in the rack and try out if it holds the promise it sets here. I like it. Yeah, great. And uh, here you can see now the tool in the rack. Um, looks beautiful, in my opinion. And let's see what it does. So what I've done here is I, I hooked up again my expert sleepers ES8, uh, and you will get a, um, an LFO wave from a Dupfer A145 standard LFO. So nothing special, but um, the signal, um, so the LFO signal, goes um, into a multiple, and uh, one goes directly into the expert sleepers. So that's the green um, line on the scope, and the other one is going into uh, the um, rides in the storm TUL. Um, so you can see the difference in the signal flow easily. So, and as you can see, um, I plug it in, and uh, yeah, as, as the expert sleepers, the green wave is directly plugged into uh, the LFO, so it starts oscillating, so as we uh, would actually uh, think it would be. So now um, I've dialed it completely down, so have attenuator, so to attenuate uh, the waveform, uh, which means it's now completely, yeah, down, so completely attenuated. And if we push the slider up, you see the yellow waveform is coming into the game slowly. So and with this uh, fairly long way of the slider i think you can you can regulate it pretty well i really like it feels well feels good so really subtle nuances possible so then um one thing that module also does is it does offset the signal um it's now dialed into zero and and the switch here is down what happens if i turn this off and i just dial this in slowly so Let's put it full strength. And then I put in the attenuator. You see the signal is above the other. So it is offset it from the original signal already quite a lot. So you can combine these as well. Um, and then I will dial this back into zero. So for showing, and if you put in the attenuator, uh, attenuverter, it's also inverting the waveform. And that means that in the middle, where you have now zero, there is full attenuation. And if you go down, actually you emphasize the um, inverted 
waveform. And this is why you can see that both waves are now um, running opposite, or the yellow wave is opposite running to the original uh, green wave. And if you dial into the plus side, you're on the normal side of the waveform and it goes in parallel to the green one, right? So you have now the way here to also go into the negative area and invert the waveform up to the maximum. Here we go. And if you then put in the offset again, then you also can go pretty much off uh, in the positive and negative side of the waveform as well. So, and this you have actually like two times um, and for two channels and it's on um, 6 HP. So, um, quite nicely spaced to be honest. The knobs are uh, well designed and you have enough space to really work with them. Um, and um, yeah, for that it's, it's, it's a great module I think. Um, I mean the price is more than moderate um, and um, the build quality is super, as you've seen in the unboxing, um, and um, I really love it. So when you're looking for an attenuator module, you really should and could think about getting an attenuverter because you can do even more with that. <laughs> um, and so if you're in, in, in one of the both categories, um, definitely um, take a look at the Rides in the Storm TUL. Um, it's, it's really, really a good module for, for the pricing. Um, and um, quite interesting. I really like it and uh, will be very, very useful, I think. So, thanks a lot for watching. Um, that was Kai with New Electronic Frontier. If you liked this video, just, uh, you know, hit the subscribe button or like it or leave a comment. Um, and um, happy to have you back soon. Bye-bye.